We are going to use a completely different method than the previous one. Where we will be able to recover our device in an easy and fast way. We're not going to use the PC anymore, like we did in the previous video. We're not going to use the PC to access and recover our device. You want to recover your device, what? I recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end, without giving it away. Because if you fast forward the video you'll miss some very important details in. It won't give you the options that we will be applying in this video tutorial. As we can see here, we have this little padlock on the upper left side. What we did was reset, format our phone. When we formatted our phone, it ended up with a block of screen and now also includes a Google account. The security account. So, what are we going to do to recover our device? Let's watch the video tutorial step by step until the end. Another thing I also want to mention is in the video description. Also, in the first pinned comment we have another, completely different method. PC method and PC free method where we will also be able to to find a variety of video tutorials different from this one where we will also go. If we want to try other methods, we'll be able to find them there then. What we're going to do is click, jump. We're going to click, jump. We're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Now that we're connected, let's give it all that. Journey to where that screen lock appears on our phone also add what is the Google account. The security account. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't. You don't miss any details and you can find a solution in recovery. Our devices. Okay, having said all that. Let's wait until we get to what? This is the beginning, until we reach where that would appear. Screen lock. Then, when that screen lock appears. So what we're going to do is start the recovery process. We're going to start the recovery process. Now that we've reached this point, Let's click here where it says, do not copy. If we click where it says, do not copy, it would take us directly to the screen lock. We are here at the lock screen. We're going to click here where it says, use my Google account. We click here where it says, use my Google account. Here we can see what we have here. Our Google account. It's asking us for that Google account for those. People who know the Google account can add the email address and then they add the password and from there it would give you access without needing to watch the video. Complete tutorial. That would be one of the easiest and fastest ways to access our device. But it also tells us here that if we don't have, we can also log in to the email using our phone number. We add the phone number, we click next. We will receive a recovery code. Then we add this code and it will give us access to reach. To start and be able to configure our phone in this way more. It's also easy and quick without needing to watch the entire video tutorial. If you don't have any of those options, click here. This option that we are going to do here. Writing here will give us the option to enable a function later. We're going to do this process here. We'll do it for a minute and a half, for that amount of time. After that minute and a half has passed, then we'll go. Start logging in and being able to recover our device. This would help us enable an error that we would give us access and the ability to recover our phone. As we told you from the beginning of the video tutorial, in the description of the
video and in the first pinned comment you will be able to find many more methods. PC method and non-PC method. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. I'll take this step so you don't miss a single detail and can. To give your device a solution and recovery in one way. One of the easiest and fastest ways. We are now here in the final steps where we will go. Let's begin this recovery process for our device. Let's wait. Let's wait. How are we going to get in? How are we going to be able to access this device and recover it? Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use what is a locked SIM card with a PIN code. We're going to introduce it and from there we'll tell it what it is. We're going to do what we need to do to access and recover our device. To retrieve it, we're going to enter the card locked with a code. Then we put it in, that's it. We're going here now, emergency. We're going to the emergency room here. We're going to write the emergency number according to your country. They write that number, we'll wait for Google Maps to be enabled. Let's do it again, let's click it again. Let's try again, it usually takes a while. Don't worry. Let's try it, now we're going back again. We can turn it off now, turn it off. Sometimes it doesn't work the first, second, or third time. But it usually works the fourth or fifth time. Then we turn it off, we turn it on, here we hold it. Okay, we click here. We just click back and here we have access to our device. That's why it often happens that sometimes the first time, the second, third, or sometimes even the fourth time doesn't work, but after that it usually does. We're going to click here on, jump, we're going to click here on the side. On one side, here we have this little ball, that's the one we need. Then we'll go here to settings, now we'll go here to notifications. We enable these notifications, we go back, we enter notifications again. They're already enabled, we'll go back, we'll click here for location. We click OK, we click OK. We go to accessibility settings, we enable this accessibility feature, we go. Now here in Google location settings, we're going to give it. Click on all three dots and select show system to view the services. From Google Play, and now that we're here in Google Play services, let's go. Right here in the magnifying glass and we'll write accessibility, the three letters. We wait a few seconds, then delete. Okay, we select accessibility, accessibility menu. We enable this menu, once it is fully enabled. We go back and back. We delete this, we write, battery, we click here where it says, battery usage. We select the option indicated to us, automatically and now we're going to go down smoothly. Gently, we select Google Play services. We disabled Google Play services. Now that these Google Play services are disabled, let's restart our phone. Now we restart it and what we're going to do. What to do is wait for our phone to completely restart. Once our phone has completely restarted, we will be able to configure our device D. It's an easy and quick way. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so that
Don't miss any details and be able to solve this recovery problem. We are now in the final steps. We are in the final steps where we will be able to access our device. Let's wait for it to start. Now that it has started, let's press start. Let's wait a few seconds, then click here to accept and continue. We wait, we're going to wait. We wait until we reach the following configurations. We'll wait, if you want to recover your device. Okay, we're telling you to watch step by step because now comes the next step. Important where we will be able to access our device. And another thing I want to tell you that at the end of the video I will be explaining how to eliminate errors because when we make these choices, we disable Google services no matter what, we still have many more. Errors and how to correct those errors by watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial until the end, so we can find a solution in recovery, we'll just have to wait a few more seconds. This often takes time to reach the section. In some of the a case that usually turns around, turning around doesn't get us to the point where we want to get there. Then I'm going to recommend you do the following. We're going to wait here, this is the point we want to reach. We're going to click here where it says, do not copy, and the screen will start flashing. We'll click next here, now the screen is just flickering here, that's what it is. We search here, it says, looking for updates, we go back. Backwards and backwards. If you don't receive it, then click here to continue offline and it will give you access. If you don't receive it, click on continue offline and it will give you access. Then you go back again, up to this point you tap the three dots. We give you accessibility here. We selected this magnifying glass, here we will write. Battery, if it doesn't appear you delete the letter. By letter until it appears here. Then we select app battery usage. We will select the option that is indicated to us and we will go up. We're going to go up, we select Google services. We click back, gently back. Backwards and backwards and backwards. Now we're giving you the option to continue offline here, they know they don't have any connection. Once entered, we click accept and continue, then we click next. It takes us to Google services, we click more, then accept, then skip. And we give it now, no, and now we don't give it. Not now, not now, here we are. We'll give it to you next. Here we'll give it now. As we can see, this finally gives us access. But look, here we see Google services. Here we see all those Google Play services. They're just errors that appear on our phone. Phone, how we correct those errors. What we're going to do is go ahead with the adjustment. Then when you go to settings and look near the phone, you go to system and you're going to reset your phone. When the phone resets, it will be free of any errors.